All right. This is a short box bullpen protocol. So a short box bullpen is used on days when we have slower slash lower RPE days where we're, we're not doing full intent, full intensity throws. Um, but we still at the same time want to get some delivery work off the mound. Um, all of my delivery work has to be done on the mound. I don't want anybody doing delivery work on flat ground. So a short box is a really good tool if you want to get some good repetitions in on the mound, but not um, wreck your arm throwing too many throws at high intensity. So what we do basically, we get our athlete on the mound, we scoot up our catchers five to 10 feet, depending on their preference really, as long as it's shorter than actual 60 feet, six inches, we're fine with it. And then we do everything the same as a regular bullpen. We hit our spots, we throw our stuff, we sequence our stuff with our fastball, making sure we're always checking back in with our fastball and not throwing too many off-speed pitches in a row. So what I'm gonna do with Luke is just have him go through a little abbreviated short box bullpen where he'll roll through some locations and um, get his good body of work in, get a good efficient body of work in, and then he will shut it down. We'll move on to the next thing. All right, Luke. Here we go. Okay, there you have it. That is a short box bullpen, a little abbreviated form of it. Obviously this is to your satisfaction, so whatever you're trying to do that particular day, make sure you accomplish what you need to for that particular day, and then move on. We don't need to waste time making extra throws. Go in, hit your spots, make sure your pitch shape is what you want it to be with everything you got, mix it up a little bit, get your body working, and then we can move right on, okay?